Life Practice Community. Perfect. Um, so here we are for our manifestation practice. Um, so we are going to move through. I was going to do a meditation at the ending, but I think I'll do. I'll start us off with a meditation. Um, and then we'll do a bit of. We'll start with a little bit of journaling, then we'll do meditation, then we'll do the yoga. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing? Okay, so um, let's start with journaling. So I'm gonna invite you, we're gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna put on a little bit of music. Um, and I'm gonna invite you to write in your journal if you have a journal with you. Um, three long-term goals and three short-term goals. So three things that you want to accomplish in the short term. And three things you want to accomplish in the long term. And I'm not going to give you a timeline for that because I think everyone has a different definition of short and long based on what's going on in your world right now. But we're gonna give it about five minutes.
whenever you're ready to finish with your journaling. You're just gonna come to a seated shape and maybe give one hand onto your heart and one hand onto your belly. The ability to manifest it is within every one of us. And all it takes is learning strategies. To tap into this. You might close your eyes or just settle your gaze. And the intention of our meditation is to amplify our attracting power. Aligning ourselves with the loving energy of the universe to manifest the changes we dream of. The most helpful thing that we have control of is our breath. Breath has been there since the moment we're born and every day keeping us alive. By honoring our breath, when we're ready to set intentions, we can create this powerful experience. Let's start by setting an intention to manifest the changes we desire. Saying to ourselves, I can manifest the changes I desire. And honoring our breath by taking five deep breaths. Expanding the belly and the chest as much as we can. And exhaling, releasing. Filling the entire breathing system with fresh oxygen. And then exhaling, feel that wave of relaxation sweeping over you. Breathing in so deeply that you're filling with air. Exhaling, feeling your body relaxing in many ways. Breathing in, feeling these breaths, filling your whole body. Last one, feeling how good it feels to breathe deeply. Now just notice how you're feeling in this very moment. You have an abundance of oxygen. Breathing deeply is fully is an expression of self-compassion.
This can be our tool when we want to manifest change, when you're feeling lack of motivation or negative inner talk, just pause and take five deep, purposeful and powerful breaths. Take one more inhale exactly as we are. One more exhale. And then we're gonna start to move a little bit. So let's inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. And then see if you can land the right palm and lift the left arm over to the right, stretch through the left side body. Lift all the way up. And then stretch the opposite way. So land the left palm, reach over to the right, breathe into the right side body. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And then we're gonna rotate towards the right side, gaze over the right shoulder. And then inhale the arms all the way up. Good, rotate the opposite way. Good, lift the arms all the way up. Take a big breath in. Just gather the palms at the heart center. Then we're gonna come onto the hands and the knees and move through a few cat cows before coming into a child's pose. So you can step the knees back and tilt at the pelvis and then curl the spine. doing one more. Then come all the way into a neutral. Let's take our knees wide. We're gonna take our toes to touch, our heels together. Maybe you bring your cushion down and you're gonna just snuggle into the cushion or maybe into the mat. And so manifesting is easy once you know the recipe. And we need desire and we need commitment and we need trust. So the first thing we need is desire. And we have to know what we want and we have to want it so badly. How we clearly can see any path that we need to take to get there. Right, knowing what you're manifesting is important and the more details you can add to your desire, the better. Right, 
writing down our goals and our aspirations and setting the exact time it will be accomplished. And you set an exact date as to when your goals will be met and you write it down. It's like giving an order to your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is now taking action. Think about these goals that you wrote down at the start of the practice. And we're just gonna take a few moments to imagine them in as deep detail as you can. Taking a few more breaths in this shape. And then I'm gonna invite you to just roll up to seated. Nice, we're gonna do a heart opening and a hip opening shape. And I'm gonna invite you, if you have a cushion, if you have a block, you're gonna set yourself up so that you have a little bit of a ramp with your block and your cushion. And if you don't have one, it's okay. You can just be flat on a cushion or just flat on your mat, okay. And you're just gonna lay your heart on the cushion and then let your knees knock open. and have your palms face up. This is a butterfly pose with a little bit of a back bend. So 
So dedication is the second ingredient in manifestation. Right, commitment. Only we can put in the effort to take steps towards our desires, to network with people, to motivate ourselves, to practice yoga, to practice meditation every day. We have to commit time every day to do something that takes us closer to to gaining what we seek. And only we can do this. No one else can be dedicated but us. Just knowing that that starts with us. here for a few more breaths. And we're just going to draw our knees up together. And we're going to make our way off of this little bolster ramp, you can maybe roll to the side. Nice. Eventually, we're gonna make our way up to a standing shape. We're just gonna do one standing shape. We're gonna do one waterfall. So coming on to the soles of the feet. Letting the arms dangle, letting the head go. You can grip opposite elbows or just let the arms dangle. So I think the last most important thing in manifestation is trust. And 
this is the easiest part because all you have to do is just let go. You completely let go of thinking too hard about the things you have to do to bring it all together. just have confidence that things always fall into place perfectly they always fall into place as they're meant to you have to know with certainty that what you're manifestation is is attainable and have faith so take a few moments to really trust in those desires becoming a reality Noticing how you're feeling right now. Let's take a few more breaths in this hold. We're just going to make our way. Maybe you roll all the way up to stand, just bringing the, the head to balance last. Feeling your whole body realign. We're going to do a little bit of hip opening. So we're going to come into pigeon pose. And how we're gonna do our pigeon, you can come onto the hands and the feet, lift the hips up, take the right leg up, and then just draw the right knee in and lay the right shin across the width of the mat, wiggling the left knee back. Good, now if anyone has any knee pain, Feel free to just give me a little wave and I can demonstrate this pose on your back. And if your right hip is floating, you can always place a block or a cushion directly underneath the hip. And you might come onto the elbows, maybe onto a cushion. Now take a moment to say to yourself, I know I can achieve my aspirations. I deeply believe in myself. I 
see clearly how my goals and my aspirations are attained. a great desire to to manifest my aspirations I put in daily dedication that's required of me Always believe in myself. I trust the loving energy of the universe. in this hip opening shape for just five more breaths. opposite way. So taking the left shin across the width of the mat, wiggling the right knee back. Visualizing is an extremely powerful way for us to manifest. So just imagine that you've you 
you've attained everything you desire. You see yourself vividly in your mind. Having achieved your goals. Visualizing yourself with your intentions fulfilled. Notice what you look like and who you're talking to. The more details you can add, the better. See your surroundings. where you are. Places you go. Who is around? Taking several moments to See yourself having manifested everything that you dream of. Take a few more breaths where you are. And then we're going to come up out of this pose. Coming on to our backs. Open the arms into cactus arms. Just drop both Gaze over to the right. Gaze over the left shoulder.
open the right arm, draw the knees all the way back through center, and then send them the opposite way. side on your twist for a couple more breaths. Let's unwind. Stretch all the way out into a final resting pose or a seated position, however you prefer. Remembering to honor your breath. Taking time to fully breathe in and breathe out. Knowing that when you breathe deeply, you automatically relax. Being relaxed is the first step to being in control of your life and your emotions. Remembering the words, desire, commitment, and trust.
body a little bit of a wake up wiggle. Taking a nice stretch through your fingers, through your toes. Just making your way up to join me in a seated shape. The palms at the heart center. We're going to close with our intention. It's the ancient intention, but it's the original intention. And it's been passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remain steady and our efforts remain continuous and our yoga serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe and happy and healthy and free. And may the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. And then we'll join together with an ohm sound. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale through to make an ohm. So take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me for sharing the space and the practice. The light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you, thank you.